Good morning. Thanks for coming in today. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thanks. What can I do for you today? Oh, sure, I can help. Are you one of the organizers? Okay, well, what I'll do is, uh, if you're having, say, 50 people, we could arrange for a better rate by having a group rate by blocking the hotel for a group. This is what we've done for your department in the past, and we get a better rate by having a group rate. And if you'd like, I'll negotiate on certain hotels. And do you have any idea about what you're looking to spend or? Like, how much would you like to spend per night? Okay. Well, what's in your advantage, I would think, was that it's in July. Springtime's rates are pretty high because of the flowers around the city and the gardens. And July's rates aren't quite as high as that. So I think we couldn't do much better than, uh, in a decent place anyway, than say 110 to 150, somewhere in that range. Okay, well, yeah, that's going to be pretty much the standard price, but I can look around for you and get back to you. Also, we might be able to get a group rate, like I mentioned before. Now, do you have any specific location in mind? Okay, great. What we might also want to concentrate on are the airlines and getting a group rate with the airlines, too. Um, do you have any people that might be banding themselves together? Because the chances are that few of them will end up on the same airline. Uh, the group's a little small to be getting maybe a group rate. Are people going to be coming from all over? or? Okay. Uh, let's see. About concentrating on a hotel, blocking a hotel. Let me see. Sometimes I can find a place that will give us the same price for maybe a single or a double. Which would you prefer?
Okay, so people will be coming with their families. And we're therefore then trying to work with the lower end of the pay scale, is that right? Okay, I've worked before with this hotel on Capitol Hill, and I'll call and deal with them for you. It's called the Quality Inn Capitol Hill. That's one. And then there's another place I'm putting together for another group that has sweets, and everybody really seems to like sweets. It's a little bit nicer section of town, too. Sure, it's uh, like a little separate living room, so when they send coffee down in the morning, it's a more residential feeling. It's really nice. So what I'll do is get some prices for you and come back with you. Uh, I'd say a double and a single have been running around 110 to 125, and you can usually get it for the same price. Uh, that might work really well for you too to have both uh, a double and a single single occupancy. Huh. I know of another place, of course it won't be quite as nice as the suites, but we might be able to get you something as low as say 85 to 95, I'll see about that. Okay, I'll keep all that information in mind. Now, as far as the air arrangements, what I'll suggest is that I give you my 800 number, and everybody can contact me through that number, and we'll just find the best arrangements. I'm not sure if we can get a special deal or not, but we'll work on it. Okay, what about the possibility of people banding themselves together, like say 15 or so? We might have a better price break then. Uh, we might be able to work out a better price. What do you think of that? Are people coming from a bigger city that could band themselves together or? Okay, now what kind of dates do you have in mind? More specific dates. Okay, great. So we can look at a weekend rate. Sometimes we can do pretty well if we can get it over. So the conference is going to be on a weekend. I'd say wherever possible, really try to encourage your people to travel over the weekend. The airfares are better and the hotel rates are better all along. But I'll have to call you back on the hotel rates. Um, That's right. That's right. We're definitely going to do better over the weekend. But again, I'll have to call you back on the hotel rates. Okay. 
So I'll give you my 800 number and we can have everybody call me, like we mentioned. It would be best for me, of course, if they call me as opposed to going to their own agents because I'm all set up for it and I know what's going on with the conference. That way we can monitor it and make sure we get the best rates. Have we forgot? Oh, I know. Are you set up for meals? Do you have any arrangements for meals or are people just going to go out on their own? Oh, sure I can. Sure, no problem. And what about meeting space? Do you need it? or? Oh, sure, sure, no problem. Now, sometimes a hotel will reduce a room rate if you have some meal service connected with the meeting space. In fact, the only way to really get a rock-bottom price is when they serve lunch at the end of a meeting. Otherwise, straight hotel space is somewhat negotiable, but not quite as much as if you had a meeting space. And if you do have a meeting space, I need to know what kind of meeting, like will it be theater style, boardroom style, classroom, et cetera. Okay, great. So I'll research all that information and I'll let you know what the price is. I'll come back with maybe three or four hotel ideas and we'll go from there. And what about the billing arrangements? Uh, will people be paying for their own meeting or will they be paying for their own room? Sure, that's the best way to set it up, for sure, with individual checkout. And then each person can give me his own credit card number. And what I'll do is, again, if you're going to send out that literature with the information on it, we'll send out a little tear-out sheet also so they can put their preference of hotel and their air dates and even their credit card number. They can just fill all that out for me and we'll have all the information for both you and me. It works pretty well. Thanks. Are you going anywhere this summer or? Oh, sure, sure. Okay. Sure, I can certainly handle it. Um, let's take a look at the computer. A lot of the tickets are instant purchase, though, which means that a ticket must be bought and paid for within 24 hours. So there are no refunds and no exchanges, okay? Now, the rules might be slightly different into Canada, but... Okay, how many people are going?
Okay, now there's a new carrier to Montreal. Or, oh, I know. How about going through Montreal, through, yeah, through Montreal to get to Halifax or through Toronto? Oh, or you can go through Boston. How about Boston to get to Halifax? Uh, well, you have to go through Boston, I'm afraid. It's a little shorter trip that way. Right now, because there's so many air carriers, what I'm looking at is maybe the best fare. Uh, what day do you want to come back? Because most fares are based on a round trip. So when you're going on the 7th of August, Okay, will you be flying just one way? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can. Um, it would be better for you, too, to have a return fare. Let's see. And you'll drive to Portland then? Okay. What are you going to do in Nova, Nova Scotia? Just tour and. Okay. Now, the lowest rate would be from Monday noon to Thursday noon. That's the lowest rate. So I could either put you, let's see, direct flights. Huh. I think I've got every airline in the book up here. Let's see if I can't work out something a little better. Oh, can you use Dulles Airport or Baltimore? Okay. Yeah, it's just that there's a real nice flight back to Dulles on United. Let me just try, because instinct tells me I'm going to do better that way. You see, the more you keep with one airline, the better off you are. Oh, we're going to be fairly expensive, because we can't keep on one airline. We have to throw in Air Canada. It doesn't fly out here. <laughs> so you're going to have to change in Boston to Air Canada. Oh, sure, sure. We're going to be pretty expensive because we can't keep on just one airline. We have to go through Air Canada, which doesn't fly out here, and you have to change in Boston. Oh, okay, now for a flight from Dulles, let's see, I have 371. Check to see if that's the lowest fare. Yeah, 371. Hey, could you make a note of that for me so I have it here? Out of Portland, go into National and Dulles for $3.95. I figured that, huh? Let's see if there's a new little carrier. Let me see if they're offering anything special. Okay, they're out of Dulles. So let's see if I can bring you back to Dulles if we get something better on. Oh boy, forget that. It moves up to $6.45. <laughs> Right, that is a little expensive. I'll get rid of that one. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I just had a flight here and it came out of Dulles. Huh. Okay, I get 375. What was the lowest fare we had? 371. Right, okay. Now what we've got is out of Baltimore for 375, which isn't bad. It's better for you to get the extra money, and you could go out of Baltimore. So let's see if I can get you something better than, say, 730 in the morning. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, well, what else do I have here? Nope, not sold out. Philadelphia to Baltimore sold out. Portland sold out. Wow, everything's sold out on the 17th. Oh, here's a one-stopper here. That's good. Oh, nope, it's international. That won't work. I <laughs> can't imagine why everything's so sold out. Maybe there's something we should know about. Okay. Now, another thing I can do is go into the airline directly, which means when I'm in my computer, I can check general airline reservations. And what I'm looking for are a few last seats on a return flight at a lower fare. That way, I can tell if a lower fare does exist. So I'm just going to go into U.S. Air's reservation line directly here. It's just another step that makes it easier and nicer. All right, here it is. Let's remove all the other ones. Oh, now another possibility is coming back on a different day. You'll already be paying a pretty high price on the 17th. You're coming back in the afternoon. Would you want to cut it back one day and stay on till, say, Friday or Saturday? Okay, well, what you're, what's happening is this. You're going to be paying, well, you're going to be coming back on the 17th of August, which is a Thursday. The low price is only until Thursday noon, so you have a choice. You can say either forget about the lower price because of the early morning flight, which is the one we're looking for and is sold out. That's the 1025 flight. Or you can go to the next flight, which is 1230. So you can decide to either go back Wednesday and have me look for a flight on Wednesday or keep the slightly higher fare. I think it's like $4. And we'll look at another day on the weekend. And that'll give you the extra days. OK. OK. So same fare Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. Oh, boy, I hope you're not paying for a hotel for another day. Okay, now there's nothing on Friday here. I don't know what it is about this weekend, but everything in first class is going on the 18th. <sighs> or we could do the afternoon of the 18th. How about Saturday morning? Great, we got the last seat. Now, that should be there since we're on the weekend. It'll be a little higher, more like, let's see here, 395. Yeah, you have half the weekend fare, so that's pretty good. Okay, so the only other thing I can do to lower the price is move back to Wednesday. Okay, that sounds good. I have so many reservations in here. Let me get rid of the ones that we don't want. Okay, let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. All right, now I'm just going to check for the absolute lowest fare. Still 395. Okay, here, let me see. I've got a 202 one way and a 153 the other way. That comes out to uh, 355, right? Wow. Great, it's not supposed to be doing that. We should have seen that one right off the bat. That's a better price than you had before. 
Okay, now this must be ticketed right away. It must be ticketed certainly by tomorrow. It's called an instant purchase, which means you only have 24 hours. I have to have a credit card number by then, and there are no refunds and no changes. No, no, no. You can't transfer a ticket and you can't sell it over the border. See, the instant purchase ticket is a domestic ticket. And the only way you can get out of it is if you had a note from your, your doctor or, believe it or not, a death certificate. <laughs> That's the only way. Oh, sure, sure. Now, you mentioned you were going to stay with your friends. Are you sure you don't need any hotel reservations with that? Okay. All right. Well, I'll certainly get back to you on the hotel rates for the conference meeting and the room, the, the, if you have to have a conference room, and I'll get back in touch with, with you this week. Okay, great. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll talk to you soon.